Hello, brothers and sisters. This is Christina speaking today. It's uh, September 17, 2023, and I hope you are doing well. And so I have a message from the Lord. But before I share it, I want to confess that I believe Jesus Christ is the Son of God who has come in the flesh on earth and died for our sins and was buried and rose on the third day. Hallelujah. Amen. And so before I give you the message of today, I want to share with you a word from the Lord to begin with, which is in Luke 21 from verse 33 to 36. Heaven and earth will pass away, but my words will by no means pass away. But take heed to yourselves, lest your hearts be weighed down with causing drunkenness in the chaos of this life, and that day come on you unexpectedly, for it will come as a snare on all those who dwell on the face of the whole earth. Watch therefore and pray always that you might be counted worthy to escape all these things that will come to pass and to stand before the Son of Man. Brothers and sisters, we are watching for the rapture, and also consider that you might die today. Nobody knows the day or the hour, except God alone. And this is why we must watch, pray, and be ready every day. We know the rapture can happen any time now. And so we must stay awake. I hope you keep your eyes fixed on the Lord Jesus Christ alone. Brothers and sisters, Jesus is coming. Amen. Now I am going to share with you the message I received from our Heavenly Father on September 14, 2023. And so I had a dream in which I saw a woman standing before me. This woman asked me, do you really believe that Jesus is the only way to heaven? That question shocked me. Then I asked her, are you Jehovah's Witness? At that moment, I heard the voice saying to me, tell her, whoever preaches or believes that Jesus is not the only way to heaven, is a child of the devil. Unless they convert and believe in the gospel of Jesus, they will all perish. Then I heard these words, if you love me, keep my commandments. The dream ended. Brothers and sisters, this message is from our Heavenly Father. In order to understand this message, God wants you to read John 14, the whole chapter. I'm going to read verse 6 and verse 15. John 14, verse 6, Jesus says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. Brothers and sisters, God talked about all these pagan religions 
any part of Christianity churches. If you are within these pagan religions or these churches who teach or believe that Jesus is not the only way to heaven, God is calling you to come out from among them before it is too late. The message from our Heavenly Father today, whoever preaches or believes that Jesus is not the only way to heaven, is a child of the devil, unless they convert and believe in the gospel of Jesus, they will all perish. Understand that those who teach or believe that Jesus is not the only way to heaven teach another gospel. God gave me a scripture. Galatians chapter 1 from verse 6 to 12. You can go and read that scripture. And so, please take time read John 14. Pray and seek the Lord for discernment and understanding brothers and sisters. If you know anyone who is within these pagan religions, including Jehovah's Witnesses or the churches who teach that Jesus is not the only way to heaven, please warn them before it is too late. Another message from the Lord today, brothers and sisters, you are going to realize that he did not give me lots of the scriptures because there is a reason why he didn't. And so, the Lord is calling you, each person, to read the Holy Bible himself. This means you take time to read and study the Word of God, meditate on it, pray and seek the Lord yourself. Why? Because Jesus Christ is the way, the truth, and the life. The Lord said that many are lazy to read the Word of God to spend more time in a prayer and worship. Instead, they are going around seeking the word of God from somebody. And this is why many are misled. The Lord said that his people perish because of the lack of knowledge. Brothers and sisters, seek the Lord yourself. Stop being lazy. Another thing that the Lord wants me to talk about, I got a question from somebody 
the question was how to know if you have the Holy Spirit. I did ask this question to the Lord. And he gave me a scripture. Acts chapter 5 verse 32. Which says, And we are his witnesses to these things. And so also is the Holy Spirit whom God has given to those who obey him. And so many believe that because they speak in tongues, they have the Holy Spirit. This is not the truth, brothers and sisters. God gives his Holy Spirit to those who obey him, which means if you are living in disobedience to God, you don't have the Holy Spirit. That being said, it does not mean that the Holy Spirit cannot come to a man to make him feel the way of his sin and convince him to repent. The Holy Spirit can do whatever he wants. He can reveal himself to a sinner. because he wants him to repent. I hope I answered your question. Now I'm going to talk about something regarding my preview video. In my preview video, I talked about the things people do which God hates. I talked about those makeup, ornaments, the products. I talked about many things, brothers and sisters. And so a few days ago, the Lord showed me to areas people are resisting him. The Lord is said that many are making efforts to give up things he hates. But there are still two areas people are resisting him. The majority are the women. Those two areas are hair and the products people put in their hair and makeup. Brothers and sisters, obey God. Pray first and seek the Lord Jesus Christ to help you to overcome those things. If you don't give up things God hates, you are living in disobedience to him. Time is very short. Please share this message. If you have not given your life to the Lord Jesus Christ, turn to him right now. Receive and accept him as your God and Savior. Believe and repent all your sins before it is too late. Repentance means go and sin no more.
once you understand who Jesus is, you believe he is the Son of God who has come in the flesh on earth and died for our sins and was buried and rose on the third day. Then get baptized of water and spirit. Being born again means you love Jesus and you keep his commandments. Time is very short. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, in your Son's name, Jesus, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Amen.